All right, this week we're heading down to the southeast section of the Florida Sportsman Forum. We're going to fish out of Boca Inlet with Nick C. He's on a good pelagic bite. we got a little break in between the fronts here. One or two day weather window that allows us to get out. We're going to fly some kites off the Triton. We're going to bring it to you real time. Rather than telling you about Boca this week, I thought we'd show you. My buddy Ip from Boca Raton Helicopters is going to show me the lay of the land. You know, flying out over the ocean, the first thing I notice is these big sport fishers that are flying kites. And this is the preferred technique. You don't see this around the whole state, but south of Jupiter, down through Miami, this is the preferred technique for live bait. After that sick helicopter ride, we finished our journey south, launched the boat, and tied up at the Sands Harbor Hotel and Marina in preparation of meeting Nick C there the next morning. So first thing the next morning, Nick C shows up. Let me tell you, this kid had a ton of gear. He even had a helium tank in case the wind wasn't blowing to fly the kites. I think we got enough, man. <laughs> if we can't, oh, here, you want me to take that thing? We'll scare him into the boat. Hey, if we can't catch him what we got here, we can't catch him. All right, so basically what we're doing today for your typical kite outfit here, got a uh, Tenor National 12, uh, 20 pound outfit. Start out with a double line. Come down to a solid eye ring. Your typical pink or whatever color you so choose kite float. Then a snap swivel. At the end of the snap swivel will take a 12 to 15 foot piece of monofilament or fluorocarbon leader. And then from there, you go to a hook. Whether you fish uh, wire leaders or straight uh, straight mono, depending on what you're going for, and that's your basic kite out. So we rigged all the rods and loaded every compartment in that Triton. Nick was gracious enough to head all the way down to Miami the day before. A three hour boat ride to pick up a bunch of bait for us. He had penned up at a buddy's house. We had to pick up that on the way to the inlet. What we like to do is just go like a couple at a time with these things so you don't take the scales off them. That's it, candy right there. All right, our initial plan was to go out of Boca Inlet. We ended up staying a little further south. The bait was kept a little further south, so we're actually going to go out of Hillsborough Inlet this morning. This is Hillsborough. Uh, yeah, we'll probably probably run the beach north a little bit. We'll uh, we'll start off like Boca Inlet there and uh, just kind of float with the uh, float with the wind and tide, and just keep working our way north until we find a group of fish. Typically when you think of kite fish and you see these big sport fishers, you know, we're on a bay boat, you know, there's 24 triton. It's actually kind of perfect, Nick, isn't it? I mean, the way yeah, we're set this up. Is, this is ideal, man. We're, we're set up as good as anyone. So we're just sitting here on a dead boat. We got the motor shut off. And I actually have a trolling motor in the water and just holding us in a, a you know, a, a heading on it with the eye pilot. He's just keeping the nose into the wind and he's actually flying the kites perfectly. I mean, we couldn't get a better drift. If we were in a big boat, we'd have to constantly sit there and adjust. Yep, yep, and we'd have the motors running. Yeah, this is a nice stealthy approach here. I like this. So we're just flying two kites, two rods, two baits off of each kite. Got some gogs, some greenies out. And all you want to do is just, right, Nick, just keep your bait right on the surface, close yes, to the sir. surface. So we got those pink kite indicators there, so you can keep an eye on how, how deep your bait is, you know. Ideally, you know, what I say is as long as your base not in the air and as long as your cork isn't in the water, you're fishing effectively. It doesn't take long and I get the bite on my short bait. Now angle away the other way, away from the fish. There he is! There he is jumping right here! Woohoo! He's 
gonna probably gonna jump. Woo hoo! Look at that. That is sick. That's cool. A lot of times when you have a fish in your spread like this, you get multiples. As long as you keep your base fishing. Woo! Nick C putting us on him. Look at that fish, all lit up. Not you know he's still healthy. You can see the color of him. It doesn't get any better than this. In the bay boat. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Pretty fish. And I got it to the tip, Nick. We're good, brother. Awesome. Then you can slide it right back to me. I can probably get the release right here. Gorgeous fish. There was wild. That bait wasn't but 30 foot from the boat there either. And he gave us a show. Yes. How about we let him go? Let's get another get one. Awesome. Hey. What we needed, fresh is off. That's it. The first one's the hardest. <laughs> All right, we weren't even set back up after that sail release. Had a king come sky rocket on this other kite bait. I just saw that sail come up and eat, and I just saw this king come out of the water and take the bait. I mean, it's as exciting as it gets. There we go. Good job, <laughs> Just had a little flurry of action. And we're gonna reset, get a couple more baits out. Just bump back out. It's so nice, it just drops off so quick here. Just the bump of the motor, we're just barely bumping forward, able to still fly the kites and just bump these baits back out to the right zone. We had that bite in 100 feet of water, saw a lot of bait, so we're not gonna go far. Let's get back in that zone, set back up. It's like perfect conditions out here, man. Just enough wind to keep the kites going. Good looking water, smoking North Todd. You know, we started down there off like Hillsboro, uh, and now we're off uh, Deerfield Pier, almost to Boak Inlet there. And uh, I mean, this is just perfect. Not too rough, not too calm. About as good as it gets right here. There he is. <laughs> All right. Um, another nice king for the smoker. Woo! Sweet. <laughs> Good going, George. Good job. We'll take him. Not a sale, but it's action. You know, talking to Nick, you know, I was quite surprised that he's using wire leader, but he explained to me, unless he's specifically targeting sales, like in a tournament, he's always using wire tracer leader, like a number five or number six wire, in case that wahoo or that king bite comes along. Rather catch a king and then, uh, right, then have you off. know just get cut off. I, I love this kind of fishing. It's so so much fun, God. Something's going on in your long. Pick up your long. Pick up your long. I hit him a little off little mahi. We got the sail. We got the king. It's dinner and a show. Now I got a mahi. Ha <laughs> Little dolphin. Nice little fish. Beautiful fish there. Perfect eating size too. God. It's about time a guest host put me on the good side of the boat. You know, the last <laughs> two episodes have been poached to the bad side, and all the spots have been poached from me. There we go. That was a weird bite up on top. Kept missing it. Actually, it might be a zero. Zero mackerel, yeah. We call that poor man's lobster. Not a bad little box for a morning of fishing so far. We're just getting started. Once again, the north side of the boat's producing. Oh! Nice, what a I think he's got you there. It's like we're connected there. <laughs> if you can put an order in for a little black fin. I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, do that for me. Dude, he's working. Yeah, man. Hey, that drag on that new 1012 is sweet. Dude, he stretched me out. It's just a heavy fish, dude. It's a weird, weird fight. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a bonita. 
This fish does not want to come to this boat. No, man. You got some heat on him, too, now, man. He's taking right now. Good, too, huh? I've been fighting this fish for at least 10 minutes. No. Nick's in the back. The cameraman's in the back. They're taking wages. They think I have a Bonita Falvo. Something inside of me knew that this was a quality fish. Might have to get a guess. It's something with fins or twins. I look down. In the water, all I see is blue and green darting around. There's dolphin all around the boat. Nick grabs a pitch bait, of course, while I'm tied up, starts bailing dolphin in the back of the boat. He's not even throwing him in the cooler. He's got him flopping around the deck of the Triton, and I'm still struggling with this submarine up front. This is crazy. I finally get to catch something. Yeah, hey, well, I was busy. Do a little charity work. Nice little school of dolphin. And there's a few of them there. Not monsters by any means. God knows what's going on in the back of the boat with the rest of the base. The kite's down. I'll bump it forward a little bit more. Here comes my fish, dude. What's it look like? What's it look like? Big it's wahoo? A, it's a wahoo. It's a Big wahoo. wahoo. Big wahoo. Oh, oh my God! God. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Give me some of that! that. I'm going to lift him right in the boat here. Woohoo! Are you kidding me? Sail, dolphin. Man, that's a beautiful fish, man. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it was. Woo! Are you kidding me? Thank God we use this wire leader. I've only caught a handful of wahoo my whole life, and as you can tell, I was pretty pumped to catch this one. You know what? We ordered, we ordered this Yeti thinking we'd do a lot of inshore. I need a bigger Yeti. I think so. We've drifted north of Boca Inlet at this point, and we haven't even got to spread out after catching that wahoo, and I have a dolphin on. I mean, we I can't even him, get this. I got him, I got him. You gotta give me a break, George. Poor Nick. Can't even get Porter. this. Can't even get this spread out. Come on, lit up. You cannot duplicate those colors. Look how vibrant he is. Wow. Come here, you. Ooh. Just when I thought the bike couldn't get any better, this happened. Oh, oh, sail, 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 sail on the short. We're all wrapped up. Oh, no, no, sail. you're good, you're good. Nick's bit, you got a sail coming up on a bait. Got him, Nick? Yeah. I got something on too here. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! I got a sail on over here, Nick. Yep, yep, yep. Double headers on, here it comes. There he is. Nice action! Hell yeah! What a jump, baby! Crazy, crazy bike today. We need one more hand. I kind of like driving and fishing. Yours went one way, mine went the other. You know, kite fishing seems so difficult to people. I just think they just don't go out and do it. You know, if you get the right stuff to do it, a little practice. Yep, the right tools and, and practice, you know, that's all it is. It's, <laughs> it's the same thing every time. You come out here and do it a few times and... It's not that difficult once you it's get, really especially not. once you get set up like you this. Know, it's, I mean, it's just the two of us out here. We got two kites and it's, you yeah, know, you really no, no big I mean, deal at all. We went over the top with two kites and you can easily just fly one kite and some flat lines yep, off. Yep, yep, you don't have kite. to do two. You know, when I first started kite fishing, I started with one kite and one bait off that one yep. kite. And then, as we got comfortable, we just progressed and now we're doing this. Oh my goodness. Nick's bringing the kites in so we can chase after these guys. Tripled up. No! I'll just sit here and wait. The cooler's full of dolphin, wahoo, and king. We got two sails on. He's got something else on. Another king. Oh, God. Yeah, just throw him on the deck. Don't worry. This is the king. Ready Get him on the deck there. Worry about him a little bit. I'm wearing flip flops. All right. I'm gonna get my blue one back here. All right. There it is! Oh, yeah! Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, show us! That's 
it, Nick. That's it. That's it. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Good release. All right, get yours. All right. What a day. I'll tell you, I'm mainly a snook guy, right? Say no snook. Oh, Nick! You caught him! <laughs> Nick C in the southeast section of Florida Sports Reform. Hooks out. We have crushed him today. We have caught sail, kingfish, dolphin, an awesome wahoo. What a great day, man. I appreciate everything. Hey, George, it was fun, man. Man, you are on him. Woo! Man. The way she goes. What a day. That was awesome, man. It doesn't get any better now, does it? No, sir. No, sir. Great job, man. Not bad for a half day of fishing. What an insane day of fishing we had. You know, this time of the year when the weather window opens in Florida, you gotta go. The offshore fishing is second to none. Down in the south region, Miami Mutton's on a killer bottom bite, and Action 88 in the Keys has his own great pelagic bite going on as well. Nick took me to school today, and he taught me everything he knew about kite fishing. You know, this is a kid that grew up on the Florida Sportsman Forum, and it was truly an honor to fish with him. For the rest of you, I need your picks and your reports. So hopefully I can fish with you next time and bring it to you real time with Florida Sports. This is the way you hunt Cobia. The secret to real time success is Twizzlers. Every trip they've been with us. Just why don't we do this? Why don't we just get a quick quad on? Yeah, just pandemonium. And then a gaffer dolphin. And then we'll call it. Then we'll hit that bar at the sands. Yeah. Oh, and tip wrap. Oh. 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 Got her short. Got her short. Got bit. I think I broke off here. Oh. Did you get that? <laughs> 